In today's video, I talk about measuring results to maximize success. Let's get shooting. Hi and welcome to today's episode of The Intersection. I am so glad you decided to watch today because I want to talk about something a lot of businesses forget to do and that is measure the results of campaigns they're running, of different marketing initiatives they're taking, of lots of different things. They don't take the time to measure results to see how successful they've been. If you are not measuring the results, how are you going to know if what you're doing with your business and your marketing is working? If you're not looking at how many people are coming to your website, if they're going to the pages that you want them to go to, how are you going to know if you built it correctly and put the right calls to action out there? If you're not looking at your email campaigns and seeing how many people are opening those or whether they're clicking on once they get them open, how are you going to know that that email campaign is working? If you've spent money on a direct mail campaign and you're not asking people to bring that mailer in to get a discount or something, how are you going to know that that money you spent on that is working? You need to take the time to measure all of these things to understand if the dollars you're spending are making a difference to your business. It is amazing to me in my 20 plus years of being in the marketing world of how many small businesses spend the money, they create great marketing pieces, they go all in to really get the name of their business out there, but they don't take the time to measure whether any of the things that they're doing is giving them the results that they wanted. It's crazy that we, we measure everything else. We measure how much gas we put in our car. We measure for on a diet, we weigh ourselves to see what kind of progress we're making. We look at our bank account to see if it's going up. In every other facet of our life, we're measuring things, and that's how we're determining if it's successful or not. But when it comes to marketing, for whatever reason, a lot of small businesses just continue to spend dollar after dollar after dollar on marketing efforts that they honestly have no clue. When you ask them point blank, what was your return on this investment? They don't know. Let me give you an example of how important it is to measure the results of the efforts that you're making in marketing. When I was at Scotty's Brewhouse, we would send out a birthday email to people who had birthdays each, each month. So if your birthday was in January, you get this email in January. And we redesigned it and made the email look really great. And we changed the subject line of that email and sent it out just like we always did to the people whose birthday it was that month. After we sent this out, I went back and looked at our email analytics about a week later and realized that less people were opening this email than in previous months. Less people were engaging with this email than in previous months. For months and months and months, we'd sent out a birthday email and I knew exactly the average amount of people that opened it and now it was different. So we went back in and we looked and the one thing that we pinpointed was the subject line of the email had changed just enough that people were not opening it in the same rate that they used to. And if I hadn't been looking at those analytics and trying to measure our results, we never would have realized this. We would have continued to reach less and less people by sending out an email with a bad subject line. Part of the reason why I really love the digital side of marketing is that the results are so much easy to measure. They're so much easier to get analytics and to understand what's working and what's not working. But if you're not taking the time to read those or you're not asking your marketing company that's working with you to provide those to you, you're going to have no idea whether any of the money that you're spending is actually doing what it's supposed to do. I encourage you today, if you are a small business owner, to think about all of the marketing efforts you are currently doing and try and figure out how you can measure each one of those and then start looking at those on a consistent basis. Something that may work this month may not work next month and you need to always be measuring to make sure you are successful. If you're a business owner out there and you have no idea how to measure the results or you're using Facebook ads or Google Analytics and you don't know how to read them or understand the results they're giving to you, please feel free to email me at bruce at tworoadsdigital.com. I'd love to talk with you and see if there's something I can do to help you out and help you better understand how you can measure your marketing efforts. Thank you so much for watching today. I will now leave you with the quote I say every single day, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Ooh, that was a terrible mess today, but I'm going to keep on shooting, and so should you. Have a great day.